You've been reading a lot over the past few weeks on oxygen delivery systems. So today what we want to talk about is how to put it all together. You know the normal pulse ox is 93%. And you also know that patients that show signs of hypoxia can have accessory muscles that they're using to breathe, which could be their neck, their shoulder muscles. They may be confused and be saying inappropriate things. They could show some shortness of breath or wheezing. They may have a bluish tint to their skin, or sometimes it gets almost a cherry red color. Uh, they have tachycardia, which is an increase in the pulse, and also tachypnea, which is an increase in the respiratory rate. So what do you do when you see these patients? Uh, you've evaluated them, and you know that the physician order has been to titrate the oxygen to keep the pulse ox above 93%. What do you do? How much? What do you start with? Well, we know room air is 21% concentration of oxygen, and so we would start with the nasal cannula, especially if their pulse ox is close to 93, but maybe it's 91. You would get the nasal cannula, you would put that on them, and then what would you turn it to? Well, you could do two liters per minute and see how that works. If you need to go up to four liters, you can do that, or you can turn it up to five or six. That's gonna give you between 24 and 44% concentration of oxygen. Now for the chronic lung patient, you're not going to wanna to take such a wide variety of concentration. So you may wanna do the Venny mask. The Venny mask will tell you exactly what percentage you're getting. 24%, 28% are probably the two that we use the most. So if you put that on your patient, they're still not coming up, pulse ox is maybe still hanging around 90, you may wanna go with the face mask. And when you look at the face mask, you can see that there's a covering on one side, but not on the other. And you would just put that on your patient, and then you could turn it between five and 10 liters per minute, which gives the percentage a little bit higher than the nasal cannula. And if that doesn't seem to work, then you would go with the highest percentage, which is the non-rebreather. Also a mask, but you'll see both of those are covered. And you also have the bag that you have to fill that reservoir bag and make sure that it is full. Now to do that, you're gonna put that on at 15 liters per minute, and that's gonna give you more than 60% oxygen concentration. So, after that, you would reevaluate your patient. So in summary, if I'm, you come in and I'm telling you, really having some trouble breathing, and you take my pulse ox and it's at 91%, you're gonna start with a nasal cannula. If I continue to really have a great deal of difficulty breathing, my pulse ox drops to 88 or 86, then you're gonna to go to the non-rebreather. So the least amount is nasal cannula, the most is the non-rebreather.